Hey, welcome back again to a new video, guys. This is Sampath. You're watching Sampath Sanfix YouTube channel, and this is Poco X3 slash NFC custom ROM or reviews. Back with new video here. As you can see, this is the Project Elixir 4.2 version. Android version is 14, however, and Elixir from 4.2 can list is 4.1, 4.343. Note kernel has been used. This is the latest build available for Poco X3 slash NFC. There are other videos are also coming soon to my channel. If you're first time to this channel, hit that subscribe button down below and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon. And guys, if you like the video, give it a like. I will be motivated to make similar kind of videos. This is the project elixir quick settings toggles. What we can get, uh, as you can see, you also get some other options like HBM, CABC mode, FPS counter, other things you can see. You can actually drag and add them the ui i felt really smooth here uh, as you can see even in the quick settings struggles there are some customers i'll be telling that within a while and this is the apps currently using at this is the home settings what we can get into wallpaper sense style again lock screen customizations are available into the home screen again you get these options wallpaper colors other colors dark theme into more wallpapers you get all these options not a AA wallpaper or emoji wallpaper or even the material wallpapers are not included but some of the wallpapers have been included and this you will get up to 5 into 5 themed icons is also given as you can see that's how it looks in the home screen again home settings it's a pixel launcher guys at a glance you get plenty of options here too and the camera application used here is nx only and you also get leica integrated in the more mode you also get these options you need to download them and in the photo video mode you get 4k resolution only 1080p video video yes only 1080p here it is showing no 4k for some reason 1080p 60 audio zoom feature other features are given here but bad thing is that doesn't record in 4k it's annoying here anyhow even ultra wide will support 4k for poco x less nfc but this camera application is a little bit uh, not working here anyhow restricted for 1080p only and uh, these are the apps i'm currently using game space is still there you get all these options let me add bgm here and make it performance no not battery make it performance anyhow we'll come back here and we'll see some results what i got from this particular rom we'll start with the gigabyte score 716 is the single score 1794 is the multi-score and 14 and kernel i already said that and 92 benchmark results 3 lakh 95 here temperature results 1.5 degree celsius and three percentage of battery has been dropped the version which is 10.2.5 i mean the and two and why is this one why is in i mean the safe net attestation checker you get both basic integrity and status profile match getting passed and devices certified and for this one payment applications will work flawlessly here no need to worry and internet connection i got around 230 mbps my plan is atl fiber that is 200 and here wide one level one you get is there 10 plus hlg support and level one certified and this one the radar status with graphical and numericals and charging slowly that's the bad thing i even tested for long time 11 54 am it was 42 and 12 18 it was just 66 if it is uh rapid charging enabled it would have been charged around 80 or 90 percentage that's the shortcoming of this particular room fast charging is simply not supported and we'll move into settings here this is typical settings again into system you get gestures swipe to screenshot you can enable that and one handed mode is there the organization what they have made the icons i mean the uh, tiles wise it's really good and guest navigation again you get all the options to increase both pill radius and length here that's really cool the other options are also given here i really like it we'll go back from here again you get status bar tuner i mean individually you can turn it off or on from here recent options are also given here you can reset them from here elixir updater is there but i recommend to use the recovery and show me parts you get direct sound settings from here headphone type and you can choose the uh, preset and scene from here which are included here and clear speaker kcal mode is also available lcd features so don't use this guys it will drain the battery 
uh, just to show off you can use but while gaming and all if you use these options and increase the brightness it will drain the battery and make heat to this particular device thermal profiles are also embedded into these uh, show me parts if i come back here again accessibility menu is always my personal favorite flash notifications these are under 14 features accessibility menu without actually using the physical buttons you actually toggle the volume from here as you can see you can decrease or increase from there this is the volume panel what we can get and regarding location and google maps everything is working fine i haven't faced any issues security and privacy you get both face unlock and fingerprint unlock let's see app lock is also given no app lock is simply missing here anyhow we'll see the fingerprint unlock first followed by the face unlock fingerprint unlock was fast and accurate even the face unlock is also fast and accurate here i really like the speeds here unlocking speeds and we'll come back again into the settings and sound and vibration again you get all these options the direct sound settings i already shown you vibration and haptics you get these options no patterns has been included here battery again you get all these options battery usage hasn't recorded but trust me the battery life is uh, much better than previous versions what you have seen in the project elixir and this is the information uh, saver you get only simple here extreme battery saver is not given coming to display again this wallpaper on style already shown you display again you get screen timeout and extra dim adaptive brightness dark theme which will not get into pitch black those options will be given only in the other uh, essence settings will show you within a while about that and uh, night light feature colors you get all these options rgb strength you can adjust refresh rate adaptive refresh rate i have turned on if want you can completely make it to 120 tap to wake is given screen saver is also working fine no problem regarding that and we'll come into some essence settings here regarding that i was speaking themes again if you want to make pitch black condition you can select here vivet monet once you turned on the dark theme headline body front and these things you will get some customizations here regarding these shapes and themes again i already explained this just now okay status bar you get all these options colored icons pull down if you want right or left icon manager again it will revert back to these settings traffic indicators are given battery style you get plenty here and clock style and clock and date background chip you can customize them status bar again you get these options what i said anyhow gestures again these are the options you get and miscellaneous settings this is a very important advanced restart button is available vibrate on connect call waiting discount you can actually toggle them from here flash notifications are also given here unlock high fs games like bgma is also given let's see how it actually handles in this particular rom And as I said, you have seen the video complete, I think so. Smooth plus extreme options I have enabled in the settings. And let's see how actually it handles. Yeah, it was fine. Even in the counter attacks, there is no lag or anything like that. As you can see. The gaming experience much better here compared to previous version of this project elixir <laughs> that's how the experience of the gaming i haven't felt any lag or anything like that but guys i was playing before uh, making this video also the device will get a little bit of warm in 90 fps that you need to be noticed definitely and in the classic matches it might uh, heat up and get a little bit warmer nothing like heating or anything like that but it is on the higher side compared to other rooms but you will get that maximum fps support in this particular rom guys and we'll come back here and this are the project elixir 4.24 poco access less nfc if you still not joined the whatsapp group for this particular device i recommend you to join the whatsapp group everything is fine guys i definitely recommend it as a daily driver and if you're looking for a hardcore gaming rom then this might be one among them and it's a balanced actually battery life is also 
very good charging speeds are the disappointed thing you can check out entire video you'll get more idea guys and that's it in this video this is sampath signing off we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now